In this video we learn how we can easily create Power BI reports and render them in Jupyter Notebooks. There is a new library uh, created by Microsoft which allows us to do that and here you can see ex the example. So first and foremost you need to install the library, it's Power BI Client, so you can run pip install to install it. I already did this so I comment this out and then I just use the sample data set, I used in my case Pokemon which you can find in GitHub so you can download this as well or you can use your own data set and then I uh, also, from the client itself, from the library, I need to quick visualize as well as get dataset config. And then I uh, create a data frame using pandas here um, from this GitHub repo from Pokemon. And then just authenticate. This is what you have to do. When you do this the first time, what basically happens is you get a link. You need to open this link and then put in the code, which is also given here after the device authentication. So basically, you log into your Power BI account when you do this. And then you can run the quick visualize option in order to create a uh, Power BI report and also render it directly in here. So cr using this create visualize option, then the data set itself, which is referring to the data set. So here just put in your data frame, your pandas data frame, and then the authorization. This is what you have created here. And then you just call the visualize option and let's do this. Let me just run this for now and let's take a look at the output. And so just a second and you can see that in my case, sorry for this, this is German, but I could click on uh, just choose data. And uh, let me just show it to you right now. This is the report which got created automatically. So I have not created this report myself. It was done for me. But it is completely editable, which means that I can, for instance, remove the total here and say I'd like to see this with speed. And then the data gets updated to speed in this case, right? And I can do this here as well. So this are just the columns from the data frame itself, so which I can use as my table in here to render and visualize my data. And of course, I can also go inside the visualization itself and then I can edit it here. So if I want to personalize it, click on here and then just choose maybe, for instance, a different visualization. So just to show this to you, let me just go in here and choose. Uh, this will be looking wild, but let's choose the, um, in this case, the donut chart. And you see that just in a second, there is a donut, right, with a lot of colors in here. But basically, that's what you can do. And in this case here, probably would do, use something like legendary, for instance. And you can see that now that's my chart in here. So. That just shows us that uh, this report got created from scratch with just one click, basically, and then you can adjust it. So choose the right data for the different charts and choose the chart type and so on. And all this is rendered and visualized inside Jupyter Notebook. And by the way, this, of course, is, as we know it from Power BI, completely interactive. Meaning if, for instance, I click on here, I can see that the data now gets filtered, right? So that's it for using this new library. So give it a go, give it a try if you want. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and also share it. And also please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Take care and see you in the next video.